Ugh, it looks like we're gonna have another rainy day. Oh, it's better than freezing weather. Oh, by the way, this is an onion. I decided to try and save the little end of it, and it rooted and grew all of this, so I put it in some dirt. I don't know if it's gonna survive in the dirt yet, but it hasn't died. Oh, it's gonna be so weird being in front of the camera. Okay. Oh, hi guys, it's been a while since I've sat down and talked to you. I mean, I've been editing things and stuff, but it's not the same as like vlogging. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be going over a few things that have been kind of going on with me and kind of explaining that things are gonna change a little bit on the channel. I'm gonna be doing my best to not, like, how do I word this? Um, I'm gonna do my best to post as much as I can, but I need to slow down for a bunch of different reasons. And I'm gonna go over those and just kind of explain. Again, some of the things are out of my control, they're just things that happened and it all happened at once. So I'm gonna start where it just all started snowballing and that was with the weather and the very, very cold front that we got here in Texas. I lost power for pretty much a week, uh, dealt with being in really cold weather for a very long time. Everyone is okay, but that did not help my situation at all. Um, I've briefly gone over this that I have some type of medical problems and we're trying to figure out what is going on, but I'm not going to go into more detail until I actually know and right now that's getting put on pause because I don't have insurance. So I kind of hit a wall with that because I had a lot of tests that a doctor wanted me to do and we couldn't afford them honestly. They were really, really expensive and a lot of them. Those were two things that came up. Um, <laughs> on top of that, my laptop isn't working right now. There's something wrong with it. It's having errors pop up like crazy and I am kind of afraid to even be on it so it's disconnected from Wi-Fi and I have not been touching it because I don't know what it's doing. So I am strictly editing on the desktop on software that I have not completely learned and it's taking me a lot longer than normal to film. So, or to edit, my bad. Basically, I can usually get a video edited in a day, less than a day. Last time I edited a video, which was the uh, Monster Hunter creature, that took three days to get done. That's a lot of difference. <laughs> so because editing is going to be taking a lot longer than normal until I get used to it and I'm down to only the desktop computer, um, not feeling good, doctor even told me I need to take a vacation, so I'm gonna slow things down and try and not overwhelm myself and um, hopefully start enjoying posting more because it's been kind of stressful trying to keep up with it. And I really want to just slow down and enjoy it, make longer form videos and just try a few new things because clearly this isn't working for me and I wanna try something new and just mess around with different things and figured if I slow down, I could actually figure out what I wanna do. Cause right now I'm moving so fast I don't even know what I want to do. One thing that will change is I don't think we're going to be doing weekly videos. I think right now, until I can get more of a rhythm, I think we're just going to be posting videos when I have videos to post. Um, going to try and make that weekly, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. That and I'm not going to be doing weekly vlogs. I am going to be vlogging and I'm going to change the way that I'm filming my vlogs. Usually I film them doing just an entire day of work, but I figured we could probably get more in our vlogs that are more entertaining if I filmed throughout the week and just compiled a bunch of footage to show what I'm working on. Because it's really hard to do a lot of interesting stuff in one day because a lot of my stuff is very repetitive and honestly boring. So this vlog is going to be my first attempt at doing this. Um, I'm gonna try and make it as smooth and seamless as possible, but I don't even know how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> also, I don't wanna point out all the difference in days like, hey, this is Monday, here's Tuesday, Wednesday, because that feels very repetitive and I don't wanna do that in each vlog. I'm just going to film it, compile it, and show it off. Anyways, I have been talking for a very long time. Let's get to what I'm working on for today. So I have been working on a commission kind of fairy type dragon. And I've been trying to figure out how to make the wings and I figured resin would be a good option for them. So I've been trying to make some translucent little dragon type bug wings. And this is so far what I have. I cut these out of resin that I just kind of poured flat on some wax paper and I added these little things. They're hard to see, but they're from this fabric roll I have that has these like cool scales and I just cut the scales out individually and laid them in the resin. So. I have them cut out and this was actually kind of hard and they did kind of like have some issues. So again, this is an experiment. I might have to go over this with different things to kind of like clean them up. 
Um, hopefully they turn out because I think so far they look pretty cool. Basically I'm going to resin over these again because they're rough and everything and I want to make sure they're thick enough so that they don't break. Also we might add a layer of glitter just for fun. I don't know yet. And then another thing I've been working on is this one dragon. This is going to be for a basic tutorial on how to put dolls together. So I was furring the face, it's still drying, and I might have to do a few more layers of it and then I'm debating on what else I want to do to it because I'm at the stage of just decorating it. And Axel is getting up. Give me a second to tuck him in. Okay, I'm back. But like I was saying, I'm trying to figure out what else I want to add to this. Oh, that's another thing that came up. Um, I lost a decent chunk of footage from two tutorials that are in the making, so I've got to figure out a way to film around that. And one of them is him. <laughs> Basically, again, we're, we're doing him to show how to put dolls together. And a good chunk of that got lost. And if, if I'm doing a tutorial on how to put dolls together, I need to show the entire process. So I'm probably going to have to film putting one of my commissions together to fill in what I wasn't able to keep. Basically, my memory cards for my camera corrupted because I was taking all the footage that was on the Mac and moving it onto the other computer and switching from iOS to Windows decided to mess up both of my cards. But I lost footage for that project and for the Watcher because we are working on the other Fox Spirit and I lost a little bit of the painting, but most of the colors are pretty simple so we might be okay with that. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it at least. Um, I could show you guys what I have so far for that. Other than the fabric all cut out, I do have the clay head and I lost the footage for like adding the white over everything, but we're furring this so it shouldn't be too important for the tutorial. And then I got all the clay feet. I'm just gonna show you too because it's easier to grab, but I got all the clay feet and I wanted to get some really pink long claws for it. And I've been slowly working on that while trying to get a commission done and finishing him, so that'll be after this one. I need to make sure to not get resin on my hoodie. It's kind of new and I don't really want to ruin it already. It's just really comfy and I didn't feel like taking it off. I do feel like we'll probably have to add some glitter or something. We'll see if this looks okay though. The more I think about it, I'm not sure if this dragon's video is going to be the next video. It might be this video. I really don't know. It really depends on what I get edited down first. Okay, I got both of the wings resined over again, and I really like how they look. I am still debating on adding some glitter to them, but right now the resin is too, like, drippy to add the glitter, so I have plenty of time to debate on if I want to add it or not. Okay, it's the following morning, and these have finished curing, and it looks like they worked, so I'm really happy with these. I need to take them off the cardboard and start putting that dragon together now. Okay, so right now I'm trying to put our fairy dragon together. That's probably what I'm going to mainly do today. If I get it done early enough, I'll probably do a little bit of drawing on my tablet. I've been trying to schedule in more time to draw because I've been kind of self-conscious of not knowing how to use it. <laughs> so I've been trying to get past that phase of, I suck, I suck, I suck. <laughs> but yeah, I have it partially put together. The wings we did yesterday, and I've got them added to the body. It's a little bit messy now, you can't really tell what it's supposed to look like, but um, I have the head over here. I'll give you guys a little close-up of it. It's really cute, actually. Okay, I have it on a setting where it's supposed to focus on faces. This is a face two. There we go. <laughs> So right now I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up. It's almost hot enough and then we're going to add the clay head to the wireframe. Kind of get everything closed up and then once I get to where I need to add the arms, because this dragon only has arms, we're going to film that for the tutorial to fill in that missing footage that I lost. I'm going to poke myself in the eye with this tail wire, I know I am. Whenever you're adding heads to the wireframe, you want to double check that the neck fabric will reach to the head, that way when you go to glue it on it has enough give. Because you don't want to have it too tight because then once you're moving the neck around um, it'll tug at the fabric too much. So you want to have a little bit of extra give that way when it's posing around you don't like pull at the seams too much. Okay, I finally got the body all put together. 
I shaved the belly and I added little like divots to make it look more like scaling because it wasn't supposed to be fur but I didn't have any like flatter yellow so I figured I'd add some texture to it. He's really cute and long. I need to get his arms put on, so I'm going to film that for the tutorial. And it's getting a little late, so I don't know if we'll start drawing until tomorrow. Okay, so today is going to be a bit of an editing day. Actually, not just a bit. It's going to be literally all day I'm going to be editing. Um, I spent the morning working on this vlog, so um, I'm pretty much to the point where I just switch clips and then I gotta edit what I'm doing right now so I'm pretty much caught up on it and I'm gonna switch over and start editing one of my tutorials but yeah I have my audio recording stuff all set up making my mic a little closer and I'm gonna be recording the audio for that one dragon that I lost footage for <laughs> so I'm gonna get that done and if this doesn't take all day, I might do some drawing because I still didn't get to touch my tablet this week. Okay, so now I just need to get everything in the timeline. That way I can see what I'm working with and I can figure out what I want to say. And then once I have it in the timeline, I'm going to start recording my audio. Okay guys, so right now I have all the pieces for my dragon ready. I have all the clay pieces, the head, the feet, I have the sewing done for the main pieces of the body that I can get done before putting it together. I have horns and a wire frame. I'm waiting for the bird outside my window to quit chirping so that my mic doesn't pick it up. You guys can hear it, right? I'm pretty sure you can hear it. I know the mic on my camera actually isn't that great compared to this one. Um, so I'm, pre I'm still pretty sure you can hear it though. But yeah, it doesn't help there's a tree right outside the window. He's just going to town. <laughs> okay, so I am setting up the camera. That way I can film the intro and outro to my next tutorials. I think I just have the put together video. I don't think I have anything else, but I will double check because it helps to... It just makes it easier if I film these all together. Um, so if I have multiple videos, I just tend to do it all at once because it's really quick. But yeah, I think this is lined up. Uh, I need to turn this light on. Okay, that's a lot better. Okay, so I'm gonna film these real quick and then I think I have a few things we can get done. I think I need to do a little bit of prepping and then after lunch break, I'm gonna work on getting the video finished because I finished the middle portion, the whole tutorial part of it. I just need to add the last finishing details to it. Oh. I have these two pieces of fabric that came in. These are for a uh, tree creature commission that I'm going to be working on. Got this like silvery kind of texturally stuff and this is going to be the bark. And then we got this for some moss. I'm still going to make some leaves and stuff, but yeah, I got this in. I'm actually really happy with this. This is really pretty. You could literally like upholster something in this. It's so nice and thick. <laughs> oh, and he is finally done. I decided to go over him with some 3D fabric paint and it didn't really match the paint that I did on the face so I added glitter to it which I really like how it looks. So another thing that I want to try later on was something else. After we're done filming I'll need to take some photos of that that way I can send them to the buyer. Okay so I'm finally done filming and taking photos of both of these guys. And I think the next thing we're gonna work on is finishing up this tutorial and then making the thumbnail. And like I said earlier, this one is for sale. I should have it up, I think, around now. I'm just gonna put it up and see what happens. And then um, this one was a commission, so he's not for sale. I love his little pose I put him in. <laughs> he's so cute. I need to do a similar body style for a dragon because this one came out really cute. Okay, so I had plans to finish up this vlog Friday and just basically have it ready to schedule today, but uh, my cards corrupted again, or at least the one that I was using for the vlog, which I was also filming a tutorial at the same time, so I was using that same card. So I lost even more footage for the Watcher project. I think we're all good to continue vlogging. <laughs> I'm just not sure what to do with the Watcher's tutorial because I'm missing so much footage. Like I'm to this point and the footage that I have last on the project is like in the middle of painting. 
So I think we're just going to not have it a full tutorial. I think I'm just going to have it a video of me showing off making it and just highlighting um, parts of it. So hopefully we don't lose any more footage. Hopefully I fixed the problem that was corrupting my cards because I really want to get that tutorial out and if I keep losing footage, I can't do that. So anyways, I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up and all our resin things that we made Last week they are cured and I'm going to glue them onto our little felt pieces so I can make our peacock feathers with the eyeballs. And then I'm going to move on to doing some sewing and stuff for a commission and a bunch of other things. Today's actually really busy and I shouldn't be vlogging but we're going to do it anyways. But yeah, I actually had a lot of cool stuff filmed for the vlog that I lost. Um, we did a decent amount of going over how I did some editing. I showed off some of my digital drawing. I did a little bit on camera and showed off what I've been working on. I'll have to switch over and pull up files. Maybe I'll, I'll just pull up some of the files on the computer and show you guys later. Um, because I will have to go back and edit this footage, so that'll be easy. I don't know if I'll have time to draw, but I can at least pull up those files and maybe edit them right around here or something for you guys to see. So what we're going to do now is we're going to figure out how to make some eyelids. There's fuzz all over this. <laughs> but I want to have like actual eyelids. I think I need to get more white felt and just glue some under and over it and see what we can do. Nothing super detailed but I still want to look like eyes. Honestly I would like it if I could make some eyelashes but I don't think I want to put that much time into all of these. Okay, so my idea on how to make the eyelids is to use these little half circles of felt for the eyelids. And then once these are all in place, I'm going to get my 3D fabric paints and kind of just fill in the little gaps and everything and more sculpt it to make it look a little bit like not so much fabric. I want to make it look a little bit more realistic. Let's see, do we have a white? Yes, we do. Okay, perfect. That will work perfectly. And then we do have like a skin color, an apricot. I don't remember how dark this one dries, so I might test it first. But that could be like kind of the skin in like corners of the eyes. Okay, so I just got all the sewing done for our tree creature, and now I just need to start flipping things right side out. So this will take a while because of the branches, but hopefully it won't be too bad. I was debating on if I should have sewn the body piece together, but I think I'm just going to attach the face a little differently, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, I should probably cut off all the extra stuff so it flips around better. I don't want to cut too much because this fabric tends to fray if I don't leave it enough wiggle room. I was actually messing around this weekend, actually last night, with this fabric. I'm trying to do a cute little plush and I was just messing around with it and I found out this fabric for tiny little like legs because the plush I want to do is a little bug and I was making a bunch of legs and stuff and I just couldn't flip it right side out even though like I made them pretty like wide for how I wanted them. I wanted them thinner but I I left them wider, but I still couldn't get them to flip right side out, so I'm going to have to use a different fabric for that. I'm not filming this uh, for a tutorial yet. I want to just kind of mess around with getting the pattern correct, because um, I want it to be really cute, and I might make a bunch of them for my shop. Let's see, what else do I have to do today other than getting this vlog done? I think I want to work on the leaves. I think that's the last thing I'll get done before switching over to editing the last of this vlog. I still need to make a thumbnail for it. I'm trying to think of something just fun to do for it. Because basically this has gone completely off the rails. Like, <laughs> a lot of things have just not been working out. So I kind of want to just do some kind of like silly, like, thumbnail for it. By the time you see this, you already know what the thumbnail is. So hopefully it was entertaining to look at. <laughs> we'll see. It might just be a boring thumbnail if I... Uh, give up on my idea. Okay, I just got done taking a bunch of photos for the thumbnail. Hopefully I like how one of them comes out because I think they look really funny at least on the little viewfinder. We'll find out if I like them once I get them on the computer though. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna finish cutting out some leaves for our tree creature. I got all the sewing done and flipped and stuff like that. But besides that, I think I'm good with today's vlog. I think we got enough footage for everything, so I'm really happy with it. 
Hopefully I don't get another corruption. We're gonna find out. <laughs> if this video is longer than like 15 minutes, then I probably succeeded in fixing that. If not, we'll try again. <laughs> or I'll just post what I have and just end it real quick with one little clip that I managed to get on the computer. But yeah, I hope you guys don't mind the changing of how the vlogs are filmed. I think they'll be a little bit more fun. I can show more off this way. Hopefully um, I can continue doing them almost weekly. We're gonna find out right now. It's just kind of like a spot in time where I don't even know if I'll have weekly videos. I'm trying for bi-weekly. I'm gonna try for weekly once I get more like straightened up, but a lot of stuff happened. <laughs> A lot of stuff that was not fun and took a lot of time to fix. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!